Hey, welcome back everyone. Robert here from Ram Studio Comics. So today's video, I want to show you some work that I'm doing inside of Clip Studio Paint's app for the iPad. I'm using an iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, and I'm pretty excited to say that they finally did it. I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think it was really possible based on what people were saying about the iPad Pro and the way the apps function. But they went ahead and made a fully fledged version of Clip Studio Paint in an app version, I guess, uh, but it's just like the Big Brother program that you'd catch on your desktop, you know, Mongo Studio 5, EX, it's, it's loaded. It's got all the stuff in there. In fact, I haven't really been able to find anything that's not in there. It's restructured a little bit differently, but it's there and it runs pretty darn flawless. Now, I'll admit that I went into this with actually a bit of a negative undertone. I was expecting to almost critique it. Uh, reason being is I heard that it was a subscription-based model that you would now pay $9 a month to have access to this, uh, which doesn't seem like a lot of money, you know, to some people, I guess. But when you start adding up all the subscriptions, you got to be very careful. Uh, so whatever. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of having a change of heart because it runs so really well. So this is obviously still pretty rough. I've uh, refined the inks. The uh, lines on Spidey are still rough. The background's obviously very rough. Uh, in fact, my, pers my perspective isn't even right. Uh, but I just want to show you a little bit into what I would do for a fan art piece and this is entirely done on this device So with that I'm pretty happy to say that I feel that it's a very viable option that it's, it's very functional in that regard uh, Here's another one that I did and this was actually drawn in Manga Studio 5 But this was inked and colored inside of uh, Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Pro So at any rate, what I want to make sure that you guys are all aware of Manga Studio 5 and Clip Studio Paint are identical The only difference is is that you might have compatibility issues if you are working in Manga Studio 5 on your computer and then you go to bring that file into your iPad or whatever device that runs it uh, in the app version, it's gonna now be a clip file. So the difference is .lip for a Manga Studio 5 file, clip file for the new Clip Studio Paint. Other than that, they're identical, but you gotta be careful because you can use workarounds like PSD files but it's going to change your layer setup a little bit. It's going to eliminate certain things, like you're not going to be able to transfer perspective rulers, which is important if you're doing full scene creation. So I just wanted to make sure to throw that in there. Uh, if not, just make sure everything's updated to the fullest version. You'll have no problem whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, so I'm really happy with the uh, quality that I was able to get. Pretty similar, uh, if not identical, to what I would do in the uh, desktop version. Uh, and I love the fact that I have gesture controls. So I'm basically touching the screen with two fingers and I'm able to rotate it around, uh, which is big for me because, you know, people say, well, you can just rotate the iPad. Yeah, you can, but something that feels a little bit more natural about just using the gesture controls and moving around. Now, you will want to take note of that finger icon up at the top left. Hopefully you can see me toggling it. It's right under file. That's got to be on because if it's not on and it's, you know, not enabled like that, you're just going to draw on the screen. Uh, let's see if I can illustrate that by getting to the layers, add a layer, and see I'm just going to draw on the screen, and my finger has no pressure sensitivity, there might be something wrong with my finger, I don't know. So essentially if you toggle that on, now when you touch the screen with one finger, you, it's like pulling the page across your, your drawing uh, table or whatever. So it's really neat, gesture controls combined with my, uh, Clip Studio Paint makes it for a really great experience. So that's that right there. Uh, then I'll go over to a comic page. This is obviously my Blackstone comic. And as I zoom in here, you know, again, you're going to pinch and kind of widen your two fingers out. And that's how you're going to zoom in. Uh, you can see some of the inks that I've applied to this area. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you can tell they're pretty confident lines. It's got a very, uh, put it this way, it's got the best feeling for inking that I've experienced thus far. That combined with the fact that I can now take my full files, whether it be my Blackstone comic, fan art piece, segue right over to my iPad, run out to the living room, sit on the couch, listen to some TV, whatever. You know, that's that's big. You know, it doesn't seem like much, but it really helps productivity. You're not fighting this, this um, you know, this uh, sitting in one room all day and drawing away and, you know, getting cramped up and frustrated sometimes. I mean, at least that's what happens with me. I don't know what happens with you. But uh, so being able to segue and move around the house is really important. And this makes for a nice seamless transition. Uh, I'll show you real quick too. Uh, if I get in here and do some of the uh, the ink work, so you toggle on the layers, keep in mind the center bar. So if you're looking to the right here, you see all these layers, layers, you're going to click and you can move these around, drag them around, 
with those uh, three little lines to the right. So if you hold there, you can move that and drop it wherever you need. You've got your layers, your groups. You also, if you hold on the layer, you're going to get your other options right there. So your selections and, you know, all your, your ruler frames, all that different stuff. You can get to that right there. Uh, so your, your layers and groups are almost identical. There's a little bit of difference from the desktop version, not much. Uh, your, you know, change to blue line is right here. And, and keep in mind, you can always drag these around just like in the other version. You can click it. Make a liar out of me here. But I got to grab it up top. Yeah, so you can click it and drop it wherever you need. So a lot of customizable uh, options with your, your uh, layout there, your interface. All right, so at any rate, let me just show you some inking real quick. The G-Pen works uh, fantastic. Like it has in other versions, you can also toggle these back and forth with the arrows like before. So you can give yourself a little bit more real estate on the screen. And the only thing I could say <clears throat> is that there's a touch more slide uh, on this device than if you're probably using a Cintiq with a good uh, screen protector. Uh, I, I feel there's a little bit more slide to this, but it's not bad. It's still very controllable. Uh, and I've, you know, I'll be honest, I haven't inked a lot on this device uh, because I wasn't always feeling like it was adequate enough. You know, I've, I've got some decent inks out of Procreate, uh, but not like uh, I would on my, my desktop. So I would just kind of go back to that and start inking on my desktop. Uh, but now I can feel enough control especially with some more, you know, practice always makes it better. Uh, so I can, I can at least feel enough control where I can get in there and get better with it. And, you know, I'm getting a little bit more loose line. You can see these lines aren't perfect, but I'll tell you a lot of times, I think that helps the work. It looks, you want this organic feeling to the ink work. Sometimes you don't want it to be too overly tight and uh, structured. So a little bit of that, isn't a bad thing in my opinion. So you have to discern what's good for you and your look of your comic and your art style. But I, I think it actually adds to it. I think it's all right. Uh, because again, if the, the lines are too overly tight, a lot of times it will look uh, a bit too mechanical. You take the, uh, the vibe out of there. All right. So <clears throat> the other thing is this, you know, again, with the touch controls, you got a two finger tap for undo and a three finger tap for redo. Uh, that's big, huge time saver. So again, it combines all these things and it gives you a lot more productivity, a lot more ease of workflow and things like that, which are big. So that being said, is that really worth the nine bucks a month? I'd have to say so. I mean, it depends on if you're a professional and you're making money with your work. If you're not, then you might want to use the workarounds. If you're a new artist getting into it and trying to learn, use the workarounds, use the one-time purchases. Uh, it makes more sense that way. Uh, but if you're looking to speed up workflow and, and improve and enhance what you're doing, uh, time is money, then yeah, I guess you can justify the nine bucks a month, right? So the other thing is this, is that the, uh, they allow for a six month test run, uh, which I think is fantastic. It's always nice to let people really test it out and see if it's, it's for them, right for them. Uh, so jump in there, you know, you can do the six months and if you don't uh, try to save anything, you're fine. If you want to save your work, then you're going to need to, um, you know, actually sign up. And at the end of the six months, you're going to start getting billed. So be aware of that. You're going to have to put a credit card on file or use your uh, Apple ID or whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it. I mean, there's going to be more videos on this. I just wanted to kind of show you that I am using it. I did go into it with kind of a, you know, an idea of uh, being overly critical, I guess, to it. And it's kind of put me in my place because it, so far it's run really well. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, I guess. I, I, I actually can't believe it. I even got to the word balloons and all that, which I'm pretty excited because again, you'd have to use multiple apps to do that. Being able to do this all in one app on your iPad on the go. Uh, yeah, it could be a game changer. I don't know. We'll see. So at any rate, comment in the section below. Let me know what you think, what you think of this app. If you plan on getting it, if, you know, what some of your expectations are, things like that. So I appreciate you tuning in and watching the channel as always keep drawing, keep empon and bye for now.